I am converting my dusty old potting shed into a bunny oasis. Y'all, my hands. Ew! Everything is falling apart. I am ready to be done. We are finally ready for our big reveal. You are so distracting. Hi there, my name is Morgan and I am a first time home buyer in Charlotte, North Carolina. I am also a bunny mom to a sweet little Holland Lop named Cinnabon who is actually the inspiration for today's entire video. So like I said, I'm a home buyer and this house that I bought actually has a potting shed that is connected to the room that we are in right now. Now, now this potting shed is nothing special. It's semi-finished, it's kind of old and dirty, and it's honestly where I've been storing all of my trash recently, but I really want to convert it into kind of a bunny oasis. I wanna turn this potting shed into like a greenhouse where I can grow herbs and lettuce for my bunny Cinnabon, and I can also store her hay and food and just make it like a nice, clean, pretty space instead of the dumping grounds that it is right now. I don't really know anything about construction or remodeling or any of that, so I'm going to definitely be needing help from contractors along the way, but I'm hoping that between the ideas I have in my head and their help and assistance, I can turn this like dirty old shed into a really cool like bunny greenhouse storage land. So I think before we get into any remodeling, I need to show you what we're working with, so let's get into the tour. <laughs> So as far as layout goes, those windows right there, they connect to the sunroom that I was just filming in. That's the sunroom, bunny room. And then there's all of these shelves in here. And I'm hoping to just kind of repurpose these shelves, clean them up, repaint them, and use these for all of the plants and lettuce and all of those things. Now we do have power capability, which is awesome. So we can actually plug things in in here, which would be great. Now on the other side of the shed, that's where I keep all of Cinnabon's stuff. So this is for her litter box, that's for her hay. This is a trash can for when I change her litter box. And then I just have all sorts of extra storage here. I have some bunny storage. So really, I just want this entire space to be updated, to be brightened. I wanna add drywall to the walls. And I also need to clear this space out. So we definitely have a lot of work to do. <sighs> I am actually about to go clean out the shed because as y'all saw, it is, um, it needs a little bit of love. Before I have any contractors come and put drywall up, I need to empty it all out. I need to clean it out. So my dad actually lives in the area and he has a pressure washer. So he's gonna come over and help me pressure wash the shed and we're just going to strip it of everything essentially because it is filthy. So I'm trying to create a clean slate to work from and then we can move forward with actually renovating it and changing it up. Okay, something we did not think about was the pools of water that would form because this shed is like under the normal ground. There's not this flat lip that leaves. So we're currently filling this bucket with grimy old water. This is disgusting. Yeah, this is not work for Cinnabon. This is, this is the things I do for her. Now that the shed is cleaned out, I need to start contacting some contractors and just figuring out quotes because to be honest, I have no idea how much stuff like this costs. Like it could be $200, it could be $2,000 and I'd be like, great. So I figured the best way to do that is call quite a few and I'm gonna use the Yelp to do it. Just like looking up who the best contractors are and pretty much just cold calling them and being like, hi, how much would you charge to do this? And kind of figure out from there and see if I can get someone out here sooner rather than later. I found your business on Yelp actually. I'm currently in the process of renovating a potting shed connected to my house and I just wanted to give you guys a call and figure out what would be an option and kind of just like get a quote for that as well. So give me a call back. Thanks. Bye.
Okay, so I've got about 10 handymen and I've kind of gotten like a couple of quotes and then I've had to leave a few messages. Yelp is actually really cool and I was able to go on and send information about what I wanted to the numbers that didn't answer me. So I like sent some pictures and did that so I can get a quote through there. So hopefully I can hear more as like the next day rolls around. One quote I got was really high. It was like $2,000, which I don't know. That just like feels like a lot for this tiny shed. So I'm going to see if that is equal to everything else I hear back from. So keep you guys updated, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Hello, it's been about 24 hours since we last caught up and I just wanted to say that I did hear back from quite a few contractors and I found one that I think I'm gonna go with. I ended up going with Carolina's Handyman Services, CHS, and they were awesome. Instead of doing drywall, they suggested to me to do this thing called beadboard. Beadboard is almost like paneling. It's one sheet and these boards are like indented into it. So instead of having to go through the entire process of drywalling, they were able to go pick up the beadboard and just install it right into my shed. CHS was awesome. They came out and they finished the entire project in one day and it cost me about $550 for the materials, the maintenance and everything. And because I had budgeted about $1,000 for drywall since I did beadboard and it just ended up being less than I thought, I'm actually going to have CHS come back and build like a built-in storage for me as well. So in the end, CHS came for another six hours to build my little box, and it was about $350 for it. I was so intimidated by the idea of hiring a contractor, but honestly, Yelp and CHS made this so easy. I can definitely see why they have so many five-star reviews. Okay, so my dad is back here. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> and we are going to clean the concrete with this, like, outdoor it's like bleach essentially the concrete is very dirty and just stained so we're going to use this to clean it up let's do it <laughs> this bucket has seen things <laughs> it's seen evil it has seen evil, evil. And, dirt. and now it's getting bleached out I mean, wouldn't that have been handy when I had to scoop, <laughs> when I had to scoop the dirty water out of the shed? So dad went out and got a new tool so we didn't have to do that again. Oh my God, so thoughtful of you. So you don't have to use the pail. So you don't have to scoop with a McDonald's cup into a pail. painting day and we're gonna just see how this goes and yes this this is Cinnabon on my hat so behind me here I have two colors I have like a dark charcoal gray that I'm gonna use to paint the box and the shelves and then I have like a pretty just white that I'm gonna paint everything else so because I know nothing about paint I just went on Yelp yesterday and typed in like best paint near me oh my god there's a giant cockroach <laughs> yeah. It's in here. Ah! All right, where was I at? Um, yes, so I went on Yelp yesterday and I just looked up some paint shops near me because I don't know where to go. And there was a Sherman Williams, so I went there. I asked them, I said, hey, I'm painting a shed. What should you do? And they told me to use, what did I use? This thing called like their emerald trim enamel in the satin. So that's for the shelves. I think it just like holds up well. And then I got duration for the walls. It says that it has excellent durability and washability, so really good for walls. So that's what I did. And let's do this thing. Okay. Woo! Okay. 
Okay, this is an arm workout. <laughs> I'm like already tired and it's been about five minutes. Ah! Oh my goodness, my ponytail is just like a knot. <laughs> Welcome to a segment of Painting Thoughts with Morgan, or Deep Thoughts While Morgan Paints. Something about painting. So I'm currently painting with this paintbrush because the roller really can't get into any of the tight spaces and there's a ton of just like nasty nooks and crevices in here that already are looking so much better like literally just with this. My mom is an interior decorator so I grew up in a house where like she was always painting the walls like changing things and so I just assumed painting was easy. I'm like this is a thing my mother does all the time. Clearly it can't be that hard. <sighs> I was mistaken. This is taking forever and it's just so tedious. I will say though I'm really proud of myself because this was something that when we moved in, I was like, I wanna do this. And I could just so easily see myself putting it off and not doing it, but I'm proud of myself for like going ahead and making this vision a reality because I really do think that when I'm all done in here, it's gonna look really cool. It is 7 p.m. now and I'm completely done with the white and I did like my first coat of the dark gray on the shelves and the detail spots they need to be in. But I'm going to stop for the evening and let everything dry and then tomorrow I don't have much left to do. I'm going to do just like touch up paint there. I'm gonna go take a super long shower and just chill for the evening and I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. It's the next day, hello, and I am ready to be done painting, let me just tell you. I woke up this morning so sore and tired, so I'm just ready to finish. I just have a few coats of paint left to do, and then I'm done and we're on to final touches. Guys, I'm done painting. The end is in sight now, like I just have like some final touches and some gardening to do, but we are so, so close to that ending. Ah, can't wait. Hello and welcome back. We are now in my newly painted shed. Really all that's left on my to-do list is to head off to the garden center, pick up more plants than I need, and just fill this place with greenery and like really bring the whole thing together. So I think it's time to just jump into that. I'm like pretending to be a gardener and then I don't have the proper tools, so. Whoopsie doodle. We need to evaluate. I did a thing, I did a thing to my grapefruit and I think he's upset. No, oh, no, 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 no. You're good, stay up. Okay, now it's raining, everything is falling apart. Things are escalating very quickly out here. I need to, I need to, things are happening, things are happening. Oh my goodness. I don't even know why I bother like getting ready for these videos because I always end up just like covered in dirt and mud and paint and other things. But all of my beautiful plants have been repotted. I did it kind of in the rain. It was a bit of a disaster as y'all saw. Now it's just time to put everything into its place. So I have little Miss Cinnabon here and we are finally ready for our big reveal. So are you ready to see a baby girl? Ready to see your shed? Let's do it, come on.
I am just so excited about how everything turned out. I was so intimidated by hiring a contractor, but honestly using Yelp and all of their systems made it so easy to find the right match for what I needed. My contractors made this project so much easier and really helped bring my vision to life. It's just been so fun going out in the mornings and using my new storage system to change Cinnabon's litter box and to be able to grow my own greens out there and feed them to Cinnabon for her morning salad. I just think it looks absolutely beautiful and I hope that this encourages you to go out there and try to do that home project that maybe you've been putting off. If me, a first time home buyer with zero experience can do this, then I promise you, you can as well. So thank you so much to Yelp and Carolina's Handyman Services for making my dreams come true. And thank you to you for tuning in and watching this entire journey. What do you think, sweet pea? What do you think? Do you like it? Thank you so, so much for coming along on this journey. I think Little Miss Cinnabon definitely does approve. It was definitely a learning experience, but I am so happy with the way it turned out. So I think the last thing to do is just get a final send off from Little Miss Cinnabon. Say bye. Say goodbye. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed.